Hey guys, so today I am here with uh, yet another home decor or DIY project and today I wanted to do something about my tripper box. Um, the whole house, the wall looks really nice but uh, I really don't like the tripper box and in our house we have two uh, huge uh, boxes uh, with the switches so I thought uh, since I am you know trying to do like a boho and neutral theme decor in my house I thought I would just paint these boxes so that's what I'm going to do now it's a very very simple boho wall art so do follow and let me know your feedback right now I'm just going to clean my um, uh, so I have just removed the uh, doors of my triple box I'm going to clean them and give them a coat of uh, primer or gesso So I have given two coats of my gesso on this. Now I will just um, roughly draw my landscape. So I am going to be doing like a sun, yeah, I think I will just take this. So now I'll be using these colors. I just like I said I want like a boho kind of a theme. So I'll be using combination of these uh, colors. So first. So I also want some texture to my painting. So I'm going to be using my baking soda a little bit with my paint. So it gives a texture. It's a very good way to give give like a stone texture to your work. And if you actually see when I add my baking soda, it gives me this kind of a rough texture. So that is going to give nice um, depth and some sort of definition to your painting. So that's what I'm doing here. And then I will just mix some white in the same color. Just want it a little lighter. These are very neutral colors and they will match your decor perfectly fine. Uh, that's the reason I really like boho. They are quite neutral and they blend well with any kind of interior. So I'm going to be using a little bit of mustard in the same thing. I don't want to change the color palette here too much. So I'm adding a little, I added a little bit of baking powder to this too. Baking soda or powder, you can use both. I prefer soda. Baking powder dries uh, very fast. The baking uh, soda component is just to give some depth and uh, definition to your painting. It is not mandatory. You can just use your acrylic paints it's absolutely fine uh, that was just uh, just for some texture to your wall art I like textures so so here I'm going to go like really light so I'm just going to continue the drawing here so here what I'm doing is I'm going to be drawing a crescent so I have taken the same lid here so it's the same color now since I have this lighter one I'll finish this light apart okay now moving on to the next color add a wee bit brown in this
so this is dry finally what I'm doing just to uh, bring it all together and make it a little more brighter I'm going to outline the landscape with white so I'm just taking white here and so this actually brings out the art and it also gives a nice definition your painting looks much more brighter it's a very 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 simple painting guys um, I have used these shades you can use any shades that you want see this definitely makes a difference similarly I'll go on the others the other one as well